Hello, I heard you walking again. Those are the same footsteps. I'm sorry that your tombstone has been destroyed. Whoa, I heard that this grave glows. Could you show me this phenomena? Whoa, holy crap. My heart is thumping right now. Could you appear as a light again? That was very pretty. Whoa, oh my god. Greetings, I am the Midwest Ghost Hunter and I'm currently deep in the Minnesota woods. Headed down this scary trail to a haunted cemetery. I am completely by myself and I'm not gonna lie guys, I am already freaked out. It is so creepy out here. But I'm gonna be staying the entire night no matter what happens. If you enjoy watching me getting freaked out by spirits way out in the middle of the woods or in some creepy old hospital or jail or wherever, consider subscribing. If you end up enjoying this video, be sure to like it. That really helps me out. And also be sure to comment your thoughts down below. I read all the comments and I love to hear from you guys. I really appreciate all your positive feedback. It is uh, overwhelming at times. Anyways, I'm gonna tell you the history and the hauntings about this place. And then we're gonna get straight into investigating. Secluded in the dense Minnesota wilderness lies the old and overgrown Vicksburg Cemetery. According to local legend, there is a gravestone that glows in the night and sprouts spring flowers that mysteriously drip blood. The night had descended and I would hike my way down the long forested path to the Vicksburg Cemetery. It is a long and very spooky walk to get to this cemetery. And in a weird way, I love it, but I also hate it. It is a very weird relationship I have with these haunted places, I tell you. Just think of all the animals that might be out here. So not only do I have to worry about spirits, I have to worry about wildlife as well. <laughs> I'm gonna kneel for a second. I don't know, I thought I heard something oh, further down. It sounded like movement or something. I don't know, it's pretty faint, but oh, it's just when you're out here alone and damn, that's just very unnerving. Is anyone out here with me? Could you give me a sign of your presence? My name is Ian. And I'm just out here taking a stroll, a nightly stroll. Now it's probably an odd time to be out here, but. Oh shit. Dude. Okay, that's not normal. I now realize that the sounds I was hearing before were disembodied footsteps walking down this empty trail. Okay, that legit sounded like footsteps down that trail. Hello? Yeah, I'm definitely not alone out here. And if there's a person out there and they don't have a light and they're just walking around the darkness like that, holy moly. Those sound like real footsteps, like somebody's over there. Dude, I haven't even gotten to the cemetery yet. I'm coming towards you, whoever you are. I hear somebody walking up and down this trail. 
Could you walk towards me? <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god. Oh. I'm sorry. You almost gave me a heart attack. I know I asked you to do that, but damn. Holy moly, I didn't think you were gonna actually do it. The footsteps were now much closer and more defined. Yet as you can see in front of me, there is nothing but an empty void. you I hear you but I don't see you could you show yourself dude I wanted to run so bad right there but I didn't I didn't run all right I'm coming towards you are you still over here? Could you make another sound? Could you walk by me? I promise I won't freak out. If you're still here, I hope I didn't frighten you away. In reality, you frightened me. I'm scared of you. I don't want to be scared of you. I want to get to know you and learn about you and figure out why you're here. Could you give me some sort of sign of your presence? Could you tell me your name? Could you walk towards me just like you did? Man, it seems like whoever's behind those footsteps is completely gone. I'm not feeling any sign of anything right now. I finally made it to the cemetery. Holy crap. Dude, it is so freaking creepy out here. Oh, God. Hello? Is there anybody in this cemetery? Could you speak? My name is Ian. Oh. oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that scared me. Is there somebody over here? Oh my God, look at that. That's a tombstone. All right, entering the cemetery. All right, I'm coming over to visit. I hope you don't mind. Oh my gosh. This whole grave is in shambles. I'm sorry that your tombstone has been destroyed. What happened? Is it vandalized? <gasps> Whoa. Okay, I just heard you. At this moment, a woman's whisper intelligently responds to my question. Holy crap. I just heard a female whisper on here. Okay, I heard you. Thank you so much for speaking with me. I don't know how often you get visitors, but I'm here right now. If there's anything you'd like to say, now's your chance. All right, I've got a K2 meter in my hand. This measures electromagnetic fields. I'm gonna see if I can communicate with you. In my left hand, I have a green light. It won't harm you in any way. All it will simply do is detect your presence. If you're still here, 
Could you tell me your name? Because unfortunately there's there's really no way for me to tell. And I really want, don't want to dig around your grave shambles because I don't want to damage it any further. You don't have to be shy, ma'am. As I said, I'm just here to visit. I'm here with nothing but respect. I'm getting eaten up by mosquitoes right now. But that's okay. It's worth it. If I could just hear your voice one more time. Whoa. Thank you. Oh my gosh. I heard that. I heard you once again. Whoa, you just drained my battery too. Dang, dude. All right. I'm gonna review this when I get home and I'll know your message. The woman's whisper returns once more and sounds like it is saying. Upon further research, I found that this grave actually belongs to a woman named Vesta Black Davis. She is buried here by herself with no family members. A truly sad revelation. Dude, she drained my camera, and then she finally said something. And I couldn't make it out, but man, I'm so excited to review. Now, what's really interesting to me about this is that this camera, it just died. And this is a fresh battery. And that was right after she said something, which is further evidence that spirits really do drain these batteries for energy to do things. Got a couple graves right here. Looks like war veterans. We got John Oakens. Is that how you say it? I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. J-N-O. I don't know, that must be like an abbreviation or something. 1834 to 1878. 1834 to 1878. Wait, I wonder if this is the same person. Maybe this is a new one and that's an old one. Am I right about that, John? Thank you for your service. You helped shape the history of our country. Some of these graves are in such rough shape that they're literally in the ground. Let's see if I can read their names. Christopher O'Brien. Christopher O'Brien. I'm sorry your grave is in the state it's in, Chris. I hear that this place is haunted. Is that true? Are you still lingering here? There's another one right here. I don't think I'm gonna be able to read this one. Oh my gosh. Got another one right here. Dude, those are the same footsteps from earlier. Okay, I gotta go towards them. Mr. Footsteps, I heard you. I can't tell if it was in here or it was out there again. Hello? Oh my God. Oh my God, and those signs are identical to the ones I heard earlier. Mr. Footsteps? I'm sorry, I don't, I don't know what to call you. Who are you? Hello? I heard you walking again. I would really like to get to know you. Oh, it is 
is so scary out here. You have no idea how freaky it is. My infrared camcorder just captured this ethereal form drifting through the darkness. Could this be the same spirit that has been walking up and down this trail all throughout the night? All right, well, this is the end of it. And there's nobody, there's nobody here. So that means I searched this whole trail and there's nobody here. And yet, I heard footsteps out here. No explanation whatsoever. Okay, well, here is the supposed glowing grave. If there's anyone that haunts this grave site, could you show yourself somehow? I heard that this grave glows in the dark. Could you show me this phenomena? I'll shut off my light. If this grave glows, could you make it light up right now? <gasps> Whoa! Holy crap! Dude, I just seen like a light float by that tombstone. A glowing spirit orb suddenly floats in front of the old tombstone, without explanation. Did you just appear? I'll take my light away again. If that was you, could you appear like that again? Oh my god! It just did it again! Yet again I capture the same glow, only this time, much more clearly. Could these be the phantom glows that have been reported over the years? That was freaking cool! Could you do that one more time? Oh, whoa, whoa! What the hell was that? Suddenly, the fence begins rattling by itself without reason. Oh, whoa, whoa! Oh, whoa, whoa! Oh, whoa, whoa! That sounded like the fence. Did you just rattle this fence? If that was you, and you just rattled this fence, could you do it again? Whoa! Holy moly! Dude, this is crazy! This fence keeps rattling! Upon request, the fence rattles once more, further validating that I was not alone. Whoa! 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 What's your name? Here, I could try to read your grave. What does that say? Nanny? Is your name Nanny? <gasps> Whoa! Okay. I take that as a yes. Thank you. I take it you're a female. Oh my gosh. Wait a minute. Does that say what I think it says? Five years old? Oh my god! I'm so sorry! That is so tragic, I'm sorry. Maybe that's why you come off so playful. My name is Ian, and I'd just like to be your friend. Is there anybody else that's buried here? <gasps> Whoa, I just heard your voice. Could you say it once more? Dude! Oh my god, I just heard you again! I just received an intelligent response from what sounds like a ghostly little girl, and now realize that there actually may be two spirits haunting this gravesite. 
Nanny Bickle, who passed away at the age of five, and Ida Bickle, who passed away at age seven. I definitely heard an eye. I definitely heard an eye. What does that say? Ida! Oh my god! Her name is Ida! And I just heard that on the voice recorder. That is exactly what I heard now that I think about it. It was definitely an eye. Holy sh! My heart is thumping right now. Dude, this is insane. I'm getting so much awesome activity over here. Whoa! Whoa. Oh my god, those are moving. From behind my back, I hear what sounds like somebody darting through the overgrowth. What's truly shocking is that after this happens, you can actually see the plants swaying back and forth. I'm getting so much awesome activity over here. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my god, those are moving. Would you like your picture taken? Pose for the photo. Could you smile? All right, I'm gonna count to three, okay? And I want you to pose for this photo. One, two, three. If you look at this photo closely, there appears to be two misty little girls staring into the camera from the gravesite. They both appear to be in their adolescence, have long hair, and dark beady eyes. In the photo taken afterwards, they are completely gone. I was already under the belief that Nanny and Ida's ghosts were in my presence. I now have photographic proof to back it up. Nanny, Ida, are you still here with me? I was just having so much fun with you earlier, and I'd be sad to see you go, and I don't really know how much longer I could stay here. Could you appear as a light again, like you did before? That was very pretty. Whoa! Oh my god! Dude, she just touched my shoulder! Oh my god! She like flicked me on the shoulder. Although there's no way to prove that I was touched by a spirit, I did manage to capture this orb just before it happens. You can clearly tell that this orb is inside of the fence as it floats towards me. And with that, no further activity would occur at the Vicksburg Cemetery. All right, it is officially dawn. The sun is rising. You can hear all the birds. It's time for me to get some sleep. This is a really cool investigation. A lot of cool activity. I didn't run this time. It wasn't too scary. It was kind of nice. It was refreshing. It wasn't overly intense. It was just kind of weird things happening all throughout the night. I'm actually really proud of myself for not running this time. I was really tempted at first. When those footsteps first happened, It was they were so vivid and loud that I just overwhelmed right away I was like man I'm not even in the cemetery yet and this is already happening and I was just dreading what was gonna happen next I was like oh my god it's gonna be another super intense night of activity which I do enjoy but at the same time it's very stressful to deal with so but I'm pleasantly surprised that this place wasn't like that it was actually very it was nice it felt felt good there feels like there's good spirits here so, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like it, comment your thoughts on everything that happened, and uh, also be sure to like the video, I think I said that already, didn't I? And subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the bell and everything.
Anyways, hope to see you guys on the next investigation.